In our Indonesian West Papuan case study, we're particularly interested in the development of the Graspo Copper and Gold Mine, one of the largest mines in the world, and its impact upon the local and indigenous Komoro and Amongwe tribesmen. On inspection of the mine itself, imagery is so good it's possible to distinguish individual crawlers from the ore trucks themselves. It became clear very quickly that the environmental impact of forest clearance to the south of the mine was by no means an exaggeration from the displaced among me and Komoro tribesmen and we could actually use this to document the changes that had taken place. I guess if there's an overarching theme to my work it is to see how we can use this technology, this very new technology to be able to aid in various humanitarian crises before they even get to be a crisis. If we can actually evaluate and confirm and substantiate reports, document changes that are taking place on the ground, obviously we would like to be able to prevent all of the humanitarian crises that we could, but in the worst case scenario at least we can provide an accurate record and a documentation of abuses that can be confirmed I mean, the whole area is extremely exciting. We now have a technology where we have eyes in the sky, essentially, to look and observe in any country of the world to see what is taking place on the ground, and particularly for uh, the implications of transnational mining corporations going into countries and doing a lot of potential damage on the ground to tropical forests and other such places is significant. And with this technology harnessed, for good, it would be amazing, I think, to see in 10 years' time how much has been achieved using imagery available for things like this from the GOI Foundation database.